There are two methods for displaying the price scale along the y-axis, arithmetic and logarithmic. An arithmetic scale displays 10 points, or dollars, as the same vertical distance no matter what the price level. Each unit of measure is identical throughout the entire scale. If a stock advances from 10 to 80 over a 6-month period, the move from 10 to 20 will appear to be the same distance as the move from 70 to 80. Even though this move is the same in absolute terms, it is not the same in percentage terms. A logarithmic scale, or log scale, measures price movements in percentage terms. An advance from 10 to 20 would represent an increase of 100%. An advance from 20 to 40 would also be 100%, as would an advance from 40 to 80. All three of these advances would appear as the same vertical distance on a log scale. Most charting programs refer to the log scale as a semi-log scale, because the time axis is still displayed arithmetically. The chart on the screen uses the performance of Peloton to illustrate the difference in scaling. On the log scale version, the distance between 20 and 40 is the same as the distance between 40 and 80. However, on the arithmetic scale, the distance between 40 and 80 is significantly greater than the distance between 20 and 40. Key points on the benefits of arithmetic scale charts include Arithmetic scales are useful when the price range is confined within a relatively tight range. Arithmetic scales are useful for short-term charts and trading. Price movements, particularly for stocks, are shown in absolute dollar terms and reflect movements dollar for dollar. Key points on the benefits of log scale charts include Log scales are useful when the price has moved significantly, be it over a short or extended time frame trend lines tend to match lows better on log scale charts. Log scale charts are useful when gauging the percentage movements over a long period of time. Large movements are put into better perspective. Stocks and many other securities are judged in relative terms through the use of ratios such as P.E., price, revenues and price book. With this in mind, it also makes sense to analyze price movements in percentage terms.